Hello, welcome to episode 182 of the Epic Film Challenge. Um, there it is. Back to the Future, part two. On Blu ray. Um, so we haven't actually watched the first film on Blu ray, which we will at some point, but um, we've already watched Back to the Future for this Epic Film Challenge. We watched it back in August last year. Um, so yeah, part two. Follows Mike McFly and Doc Brown. We have another set of crazy adventures, and they um, they end up uh, continuing on from the end of the first film, where they go into the future in 2015, where there's all kinds of cool stuff like hoverboards and um, self-drying clothes and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, so they go to the future to kind of stop something happening that ruins Marty's future, and then they go uh, back to 1955 because... Um, the old Biff from 2015 uh, gets in the time machine in 2015, goes back to 1955, changes the future, so that when they go back to 1985, it's an alternate version of 1985, so they have to go back to 1955. <laughs> yeah, the, the plot is complicated, but it's done really well. And for a long time, it's my favourite film because of how they go back to the events that happened in the first film in 1955, which in reality is only a day after everything that happened in the first film, you know. Uh, that's what's brilliant about it, and it's done so well. How you know Marty goes back to the the dance from the end of the first film, and he sees himself on stage. He can't let his set him his other self from the future in the past not see himself because otherwise <coughs> it could be disastrous. And um, and then it leads on to a cliffhanger, which then is uh, paid off in the third film. I love this film. I think it's awesome. Um, now I'm older, I think the first one is the best one. It's just a classic, just perfect. Um, but the second one is not far behind. I think it's awesome. Really, really enjoy it. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. Connie? That's a lot shorter than I Yeah, I don't want to spend too, time, too, too, time. <laughs> I don't want to spend too long talking about it. Because I could probably talk for ages about it. If I like this one better than the first one. Why? I didn't say that. Oh. I don't know which one I like the most because I like all of them so much, you know? Mm -hmm. Should note that you're crocheting there. It looks like you kind of got some kind of CSI crime scene going on there with the blue light. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, it's not really blue, is it? It's just white. Oh, sorry. Looks kind of blue to me. It looks very blue like that. Um, well, you're colour blind, so... Back to the Future Part 2. I don't know what to say about it. I just enjoy it. I like, how, like you said, how, how they go to the future. And it's cool to see how they analyse the future. Seeing as it's only three ways. Three ways. Three years ago now. Uh, three years Till. from now, yeah. And uh, we don't have any hoverboards. Mm -hmm. We don't have any. Um, well, there's like this thing on Facebook. There's a picture of Marty on the hoverboard, and it says, "Scientist, you have three years." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. But uh, yeah, and also it's interesting to see how, like, in their home, how they have that massive, massive screen, but instead of watching just one channel on it, he's like. Uh, I want channel 8, 24, 628, 54, 96, blah blah blah. And he look, watches eight different channels at the same time. And I'm sure that when we watched this movie, like back when we were kids, we were like, oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I'll watch out of that. <laughs> and I was like, fuck what am I doing? Uh, yeah. What's up your head? One, too many pictures at one time. Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> You're going too far you in the future. You pay attention to, I mean, so many noises, you know, so many sounds. How will you know what you're listening to? Or whatever. Uh, it was cool that it was such a big screen. Um, it was interesting how they had video call. <laughs> video call, which we do have now, but we don't really use. Even though we have it available. Mm. I'm sure maybe big companies do it a little bit, you know, if they have like business yeah. calls and meetings with people. Filmmakers do it a lot. Abroad? Oh yeah, well there you go. But 
even though we can do it with our phones and stuff like that, we don't do that much. We have Skype though. Is it even filming me? Yeah. Oh, looks like the camera is like pointing towards my jacket. Yeah, I'm just trying not to get all the mess on the left hand side. Is that white screen, is it? <laughs> That's where's what? Is it that much white screen? Oh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'd like to see like what they thought the future would be like. And then it's nothing like it. <laughs> and it was 30 years ahead of time, you know? Mm -hmm. And you'd think that maybe they would have done some of those things. But they haven't really. Just a big screen TVs. Well, there was that thing where Marty's in the, fu in the future and there's this big uh, 3D Jaws hologram that comes down and bites him. Yeah. And he says, oh, the shark still looks fake. But that's kind of like, you know, 3D films are like huge now. Yeah, but it's not like they feel like you're coming at you. No, yeah. no. But, but 3D, yeah. But that was that was a hologram. That wasn't 3D. True, true. We don't do holograms, which I'm disappointed in because they have so much of it in movies. Hmm. All the way back to the 80s. I mean, they have it in Star Wars, holograms. Why don't we have it? <laughs> What's so hard about it? They even have commercials with that, where they look really real and stuff. Well, I think they really should catch our asses moving. Well, when you beam something, the, it need, the light needs to stop somewhere, doesn't it? It can't just be suspended in midair, that's the trouble with it. And we're going off topic. <laughs> Not really. It's back to the future, isn't it? I guess. Uh, and I also like how they go back. Back, you know. Um, what did you give it? 9.5. I'll give it a mine. Okay. Thanks for watching, see you at part 3.